1985 dunk contest was stacked, as it featured some of the most well-known dunkers of that decade, including the 1984 winner Larry Nance, the legendary Julius Dr. J. Irvin, the human highlight film Dominique Wilkins, and the flashy high-flying rookie named Michael Jordan. MJ's rebellious drip would be on full display, by the way, as his airness would compete in the first round completely out of uniform and wearing all Nike apparel, sweatpants, shirt, and the now infamous Nike Air Jordan 1s. Being the first and only player to pull such a thing, the NBA would force MJ to change into his NBA Chicago Bulls uniform for round two. With three of the top five all-time dunk contest greats and other well-known dunkers like Clyde the Glide Drexler participating, Terrence Stansberry was an afterthought going into this contest. Now, nah, scratch that. He was less than an afterthought. He wasn't a thought at all. But with the dunk contest taking place in Indiana in front of his team's crowd, Stansbury was surprised and impressed the nation. Not only did Terrence Stansbury go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the dunk gods, he would outshine most of them this night, advancing to the semifinals. In fact, it was announced in the arena that night that Stansbury had eliminated Jordan from making the semifinals before a last-second impromptu decision was made for both Stansbury and Jordan to advance to the next round. He would go on to finish third in 85 behind Neek and MJ, but the unknown underdog would accumulate a higher score than Clyde the Glide, Dr. Funkenstein, Daryl Griffin, former champ Larry Nance, and the living legend, Dr. J. So Griffith looks up at his score. And now the local favor, Terrence Stansbury, a rookie from Temple. Woo! 360. How about that one? Stansbury filling in for Charles Barkley, who couldn't make it due to personal reasons. Stansbury was very nervous before this event. Boy, look at the fans. They absolutely love this young man. 6'5, we look again. Watch this. 360. First 360. Squares away and jams it home. One handed. Rod, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. That was super. And the fans love him as you can see him taking a high five. You know, one more time. You know what makes this move well, spectacular? He leaves the, the ground on Indiana one Patriots. foot, not off two Chicago feet like Bulls most people do. One Dame. foot Portland instead of that. He didn't show us that great takeoff that he has. Here's Terrence Stansbury. Watch this. Bounce it, catch it, and slam it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this guy's doing some job. He was nervous, as I mentioned, before the uh, competition began, but he doesn't look it. He looks like he's right into it. I'll tell you again, too, there's 17,000 plus here, a sellout. Mark here in round one. Arena here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, this is creative. Now, I'm calling this one an eight, Rod. You know why? Because he hits the rim on the way down, and the perfect and slam, you don't, with the perfect slam, you don't have that rim contact. Points. So he gets a 34, and he certainly doesn't like that. That score was incorrect. He was scheduled to receive a total of 40 points. Thus, we have a tie for the right to advance between Chicago's Michael Jordan and the Pacers, Terrence Stansbury. He's looking down Jordan court, and there's a Jordan. reason. Look at these kids Terrence down here. They're his coaches. Sees. They're going to tell him what to do. His he, consultants. <laughs> come on, give him the back They want to see a reverse. A second dunk off. Terrence Stansbury, fine rookie. Out of to two. Win here he comes, 6'5". Oh, he goes. man, he got the reverse. <laughs> right, as a judge, i got to call that one a 10. Well, you can give him a 10, but I don't think all the judges did. And again, it looks like we've got a malfunction on the computer. As you look again at this the dunk, I thought, in my mind, that Jordan's dunk was a little better. Well, I'll tell you, they were both very close, Rod, and I think the scoring indicated was not correct. The judges are going to confer on this now. It looks like Stansbury is the winner. Jordan graciously accepts defeat. But the judges are going to talk this one over, and it's going to be decided now that Jordan and Stansbury are going to go into the semifinal round. So we'll have five competitors in the semifinals. That was the only thing yes, and the right thing Now to back do. to Terrence Stansbury of the Indiana Pacers once again. Here comes the rookie, everybody's favorite. Oh, That's a nice one. He put that ball out in front of him, John, let it go, and then caught it. Brought it back down, back up, and slammed it with both hands. And they love it here in Indiana. And he hung in the air. Watch this in slow motion. He flips it up. What I like about this, he brought it down, back up, and now slammed. What leg stands for he has.
I'd say it was affected. I do too. I think you're right. It's pretty good. But there you go. There you go. You can see behind.